quick and powerful freehand trust builder. So what we're going to do, we're going to go File, New, and then we're going to choose Frame. That's like going directly to Engineering. Then first we're going to put some construction lines down. So I'm doing a horizontal and a vertical, and another vertical, and the center spacing, and the height of the truss that I need. Then I'm adding a circle, and I'm also adding the overhangs. Now I'm choosing the circle and I'm going to divide in segments. I'm going to choose from overhang to overhang. And I'm going to choose six segments. And it splits it up for me in equal segments. Now I'm going to add my primary top cords. And I just continue from the left hand overhang right across to the right hand side. You can see how quick and easy that is. Right click to finish the top cords. I'm going to add another construction line to create a 500 stub height. So first of all, where that intersects, I'm going to create a horizontal one. And then I'm going to place a parallel construction line 500 millimeters down. You can see there, 500. And then we click, make sure the arrow points downward. And then we click again. And you can see now we've created that 500 millimeter stub. So I'm going to go back to primary members. And this time around, remember you have to go clockwise. So I'm starting on that side. So I click there. And then at the bottom cord line. And I go across. And to the left hand side. Up to that point, And I create those trusses. Bottom cord. Then you can basically... Tell the software how the cut happens. At the moment it's 50-50. So I select the bottom cord. And I choose F7. And you basically just drag in the direction. And force a 100% cut on the bottom cord. Then you select the end verticals. And on the right hand side you change that from a top cord to an end vertical. And you just do the same on the right hand side. And on the left hand side as well. Again. In vertical. Now you need to add some supports, otherwise the trusses will not design. So I click on support, and from the drop down I choose wall play, that's fine, and I select symmetry so that it places the left and right hand side at the same time. Press escape to get out of the tool, then I play secondary members, which normally will be webs, and I switch on symmetry and as I place it on the left hand side it snaps to 90 degrees and it places the right hand sides as well. You can see how quick and easy that is as well. Once you've done that you zoom back out and you design the truss. And there you have it.